Uh, good morning learners, welcome to our today's math lesson. And our lesson today is going to be conversion of decimals to fractions. We are going to see how we can be able to convert uh, decimals to fractions. And I want to give you examples for us to be able to understand. We love numerous examples. Now how do we convert decimals to fractions? Any decimal, like for example, if you are given 0.25, and we are told convert 0.25 to a fraction. We know what a fraction is. A fraction is a, a, a figure that has two numbers, that is numerator and denominator. So that's what we call a fraction. So in this case, Lana, if you are given this kind of a question, you are told convert this decimal into a fraction. It's simple how you do this, Lana. Just look at this number. Write this number as our whole number, 25 like that, then over. Now the number that you going to put over here, Lana, is going to be determined by the number of decimal places you have here. How many decimal places you have here? You have one, two. You have two digits at the decimal place, at the, the, the decimal point. And so, these two numbers will give you how many zeros you are going to divide with there. So if there are two des decimal places, simply you are going to divide with the number that has two zeros and that number is exactly 100. So 20, 0.25 as a fraction is simply 25 or 100. But in this case, Lana, you are supposed to divide this. You are not just supposed to leave it like that. You are supposed to divide this uh, whereby you are going to look for the common divisors of this particular question. So how many times do 25 get into 100? So by 25, 1, by 25, 4. And so your answer in this case is going to be 1 over 4. 1 over 4 becomes your answer. See where we came from? Number 1, writing this number as a whole number, 25. So that is going to be on the numerator side. Then over. The number that we need to put over here will be determined by the number of decimal places that you have here. So at the decimal point, how many digits are you seeing? 1, 2. So a number 1 with 2 zeros, that is 100. Let's have a second example, Lana. You can be given 0.36. Convert 0 0.36 into uh, a fraction. So in this case, Lana, this is going to be that 6 on the numerator. And then you divide the number by the two decimal places. So the two decimal places are represented by the zeros given here, so over 100. From there, Lana, you check whether these numbers have a common divisor. It's true that because this number is an even number, look at the last digit here. It's an even number. And on this side, this number is a zero, meaning that if this and even number is a 0, that this number can be divided by 2. That 6 divided by 2, you get 18. And then divided by 2, you get 50. You go ahead, Lana, and you look here. This 0 is not an even number, meaning that it has a common divisor. You can divide by 2 to get 9, divide by 2 to get 25. And so your answer becomes 9 over 25 in that case. Let's take another number, Lana. 0.125. That is example C, 0 0.125. We are trying to write 0 0.125 as a fraction. So first, we write this as our number, 125. Over. How many decimal places are here? 1, 2, 3. So your digits, uh, the zeros are going to be 3. And so that is going to be 1,000. So which digits as 3 digits, zeros, is 1,000. From there, Anna, you go ahead and start simplifying. Because this number is 5 and this is 0, meaning that these numbers can be divided by 5. So divide by 5, here you get 2 times because you get 10, then 25, 4. Divide by 5, 5 gets here into 10, 2 times, then you add these two zeros. You go ahead, that this number, because this is a, 0 is a different number, they can be divided by 2. So by 2, you get what? 1, you get 2. By 2, you get 100. You go ahead. 0 and an even number. By 2, you get 6. Then divide by 2, you get 50. So 50. You go ahead. Divide by 2, you get 3. Divide by 2, you get 25. And your answer, therefore, becomes 3 over 25. 3 over 25. Let's do another example. Convert into a decimal. And give your answer in the simplest form. Meaning that you are not going... You're going to check whether these numbers can be uh, 
are divisible so that you can be able to write your final answer. 0 0.008, write this as a fraction. So you simply write this whole number on top as a numerator. Check how many decimal places are there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So a number with four zeros, that is going to be 10,000. So that's the first step. But that's not the answer learner. After getting that, you move ahead and check whether these numbers are divisible. Do they have a common divisor? Yes, you can divide both numbers. So 8 divided by 2, you get 4. Then here, 10 divided by 2, you get 5. Then you add 1, 2, 3 zeros. This is a quick way of dividing by cancelling. Because this is zero is a given number, meaning that you can divide by 2 to get 2. Divide by 2, this is 50, becomes 25. Then you add two zeros. Get the 2,500. Zero and even number by two, one. By two, one. Two gets uh, five two times, so four. You bring that ten, that comes ten, five, zero. Over 1,250. And that becomes your answer. If you cannot be able to simplify like this, learn a use long division. Use long division and see whether you can be able to simplify that. But this is always the best method because you'll be able to see. If you use a long division, you are likely to miss the question. Let's move to another one, Lana. I guess this is the final one. So that I don't do all of them, I leave some for you to be able to carry out. 0 0.81. 0 0.81. Convert this into a fraction. So you're going to realize that this is simply step one, or it's a one over a number with two zeros, that is 100. And then from there, you check whether we have a common divisor. This one is zero. Now if you look at this number, this number doesn't have a common divisor. And so your answer becomes 81 and 100. So that is exactly what we are supposed to do in that exercise. So I want to leave you with those remaining questions. There are not so many of them. So meaning that you are going to do exercise, exercise 52 that is going to be found on page 73 and you are going to do only number one and two number one and then number two all of them do those two numbers and you realize that uh, conversion of decimal practice is something simple and this question is there in an exam you'll find it there you'll find it there so in next week I'll, I'm going to give you a paper. I'm just sparing that paper for next week. Next week on Friday, I'm going to give you a paper. So that you see what we are doing in class and you practice in that paper. I know it's a very comprehensive paper. So you need to keep on revising and revising well. Revise class 4 work, revise class 5 work, and class 6 work. So that you, you get acquainted with what is happening in that paper. So I want to leave at, at that point. And uh, next time when we come, Lana, we are going to do addition and uh, subtraction of decimals. A simple, a simple uh, uh, exercise. So until next time, Lana, I want to wish you well. Have a blessed day ahead and do the right thing. Thank you.